Welcome to the Vion Podcast. Today, we're doing a bit of a deep dive into something pretty cool happening up in the sky. A celestial wanderer uh, making a return after, what, nearly 75 years. That's right. Almost three quarters of a century. We're talking about the comet 12P Ponsbrooks. Ponsbrooks. Okay. And some people are calling it the Devil Comet. We should probably get into that. Definitely. And it's just recently been visible uh, down in the Australian night sky. So our mission today, basically, is to figure out what makes this particular comet tick, why it's got that nickname, and why everyone's kind of buzzing about its return. Sounds good. Well, first off, the official name, 12 Ponds Brooks, tells you a bit already. Ponds and Brooks are the astronomers who independently discovered it, Jean-Louis Ponds and William Robert Brooks. Ah, independent discoveries, okay. Exactly. And the 12P means it's the 12th periodic comet identified. Periodic meaning it comes back around. Like Ailey's. Precisely. It's on a regular, well, relatively regular orbit around the sun, not a one-off visitor. How regular are we talking? It's roughly uh, about 71 years per orbit, give or take. So, yeah, quite a wait between appearances. 71 years. So the last time folks saw this was a long time ago. Indeed. And its journey is, you know, significantly influenced by Jupiter's gravity. Okay, so Jupiter kind of nudges it along its way. They nudge, yeah. Jupiter's gravity really shapes that long elliptical orbit and affects how close it comes to us and uh, ultimately how visible it might be. Right. Which brings us back to that nickname, Devil Comet. That sounds dramatic. Where does that come from? It's mainly because it's known for these sudden outbursts. It's cryovolcanic. Cryovolcanic, so ice volcanoes. Sort of, yeah. Instead of just steadily releasing gas and dust as it warms up, like many comets, Pons Brooks can have these um, pretty significant eruptions, spewing out lots more gas and dust quite suddenly. Ah, hence the devilish unpredictability, maybe. That's part of it. And also, these outbursts can temporarily change its appearance, sometimes creating shapes that people thought looked like horns, though that's more, you know, pareidolia. Horns. Okay, now the name makes even more sense. And there's another distinctive thing. It's color. Uh. It often has a noticeable greenish hue. That's because it's coma. The fuzzy atmosphere around the nucleus contains diatomic carbon, C2. Diatomic carbon. Yeah, and when sunlight hits that molecule, it fluoresces, emitting this characteristic green light. It's quite striking. So you've got sudden eruptions in a green glow. That's quite the spectacle. Definitely stands out. And remember, comets like this are basically, well, leftovers. Leftovers from what? From the formation of the solar system billions of years ago. They're like frozen time capsules, these sort of dirty snowballs. Right. Dirty snowball analogy. Ice, dust, rock. Exactly. Preserved material from way back then. So studying them gives us clues about the early solar system's conditions and uh, how things formed. Fascinating. So after, what, 70, 71 years out in the cold, mm -hmm. this greenish kind of eruptive dirty snowball is swinging back our way, thanks in part to Jupiter. That's the gist of it, yes. Okay. And the hope is, as it gets closer, it might even become bright enough for uh, potential naked eye viewing soon, though comets are notoriously fickle. Fingers crossed then. A unique visitor offering a glimpse into the past. Really cool stuff. Well, that's our look at 12 Fee Ponds Brooks. Stay tuned to the Vion podcast for more such intriguing stories to come.